Hey, quick video. My name is Blake and I am a professional online reseller. I saw a bunch of posts in my Facebook group about Disney Black Diamond VHS tapes. You see these blog posts, you see people talk about it all the time. They go, oh, it's selling for $10,000. And surely uh, there must be something up because how can a Disney Black Diamond VHS tape be worth $10,000? Well, in this video, I will explain to you what exactly is going on, but I have to warn you, it's probably not what you think. Before we get started, I have to make a few things clear. I'm going to read it off this page I printed out. eBay is an online marketplace with fees for all items sold on it, or at least usually all items. There are always exceptions. Money laundering is taking money from generally illegal activities and funneling them through a legal, oftentimes cash business. So if someone's selling drugs and they want to use that money to buy a house, for example, they start a cash only car wash and they say, oh, we made 10 grand a day from washing cars. That's money laundering. It's getting the dirty money clean. And then thirdly, uh, a Disney Black Diamond VHS tape. Uh, there are 25 movies released between 1984 and 1994. You see them in the big clamshell case and they have a Disney Black Diamond logo on the spine. Now that we know those things, let's break it down. I'm editing the video right now, and I realized I forgot to say not everyone selling these VHS tape collections or individual ones at exorbitant prices is trying to scam you. Some of them just honestly don't know what's going on, and they think, hey, maybe I can make some cash. Not everyone is guilty of this scheme, so don't go to their listings and talk shit to them, okay? Just keep in mind, I'm explaining people who have intention uh, and, and a plan, not just those who are caught up in the whirlwind of it all. So here's the scenario. You see a completed sold listing on eBay for $15,000. It's for some stupid Disney Black Diamond VHS tape. The average person who doesn't know what they're talking about says, oh, it's money laundering. But here's some issues with why I don't think it's money laundering. Issue number one, uh, how the drug money or whatever illegal money it is get into the PayPal account. And if they're doing uh, PayPal account transactions, like they're saying, oh, pay me for this, you know, what heroin on PayPal, why not just write yourself an invoice? Why not just say, oh, this money they paid me is for walking their dog? Because that right there is money laundering. That's effectively the same process. And thirdly, this is the most obvious criticism. If you're trying to be discreet, to funnel money from illegal activities into a legal bank account, why would you be buying a $10,000 VHS tape that everyone knows is not worth $10,000 on eBay, a marketplace that makes the account public, the transactions public, and they record all of the information. They report your uh, sales to the IRS with eBay managed payments. It's not like this is some wild west. It makes absolutely no sense. So we understand why it's not money laundering, but what is it? Because certainly these things are happening. We're not making up that these completed sold listings are existing on eBay. They pop up every once in a while. So what's causing it? And I have two answers for that. I can't confirm either of these because I don't do this stuff and I know no one who does this stuff, but still, I think I'm correct uh, in my assessments. So number one, why it's happening. It's a dumb joke. It's a stupid joke. The person who buys it does not pay. It still shows up as sold, uh, and it's just, that's, that's what it is. Number two, which I think is the more scammy uh, option, the more maniacal option, the scammer has two seller accounts where they sell Disney Black Diamond VHS tapes and one buyer account where they buy, in this case, the $15,000 Disney Black Diamond VHS tape. So what we have now is a sold listing for far, far, far too much, and a buyer who has no intention of paying, so the original scammer is out zero dollars. Now, with that second account, they put the same title for sale for like 500 bucks. So, the fourth account, the buyer, what they see as they're researching ways to make money is, oh my God, Disney Black Diamond tapes, these are so great. This one's only 15 grand, and this one right here, it only cost me $500. I better buy it right now and flip it, because obviously there's proof it's worth more, but there's not proof. That proof is the scam. So what they're doing, uh, like any good scam, they're not relying on finding the most brazenly stupid person. They're trying to use sleight of hand and deception to make you think you're getting a good deal. It's a classic con. It's not money laundering. It is a scam. And I hope this video cleared up some of the bullshit you might have been reading online 
uh, or in forms or whatever it is. Again, my name is Blake. I make videos about making money. And if you like this, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and let me know what other eBay scams you've seen online, what other e-commerce scams you've seen, because I will investigate them and make you a video about what really is happening, because honestly, who knows?